Okay, so to begin, we're gonna go ahead and put these pedals on the wheels. So you can see one of them has fewer holes in it. The other one has more holes in it. The one with more holes goes on the bottom, the fewer holes goes on the top. But for now, we're just gonna put the pedals in here. So let's get our screws. This is where you're gonna take this little tool that it comes with and it can hold the, so I put the screw in one side, I put the pedal on it, and then you take that little tool to hold the, the nut on there once you screw it in there. So you, you screw this nut on there. And this is where you can use a screwdriver and that tool to get that completed. So you're just gonna do the, to just to get it tightened down if you, once you get them on there. Then you're just gonna do the same thing over and over again for for both of these so please notice we've got these all attached uh, to tighten these down uh, a couple of things you can do first of all make sure that you tighten with a screwdriver to make it tight and then when it's been if it still needs a little bit more which a lot of times just the screwdriver be enough but if it still needs a little bit more, then put this tool on the end of the nut. And then just give it a little bit more tightening. That way it's nice and snug. Okay, so these are good. Good and tight on there. So that's really like the hardest part of the um, assembly. The next part is quite simple. You take this base unit and start building your stem. You just screw this on as far as it'll go into the base unit. Now, if you'll notice this one, it is slightly bent. So you can see that it doesn't go quite straight. You can, you can, these are very bendable. So you can like bend it so that it is more in line with so that you end up being able to put it in straight when you put it in the ground. You can set it there so where, where it'll go up straight, okay? So these, like I said, these you can bend one way or the other if need be. Now, then once you put this first one in, then you take one of these double threaded bolts Put it in a little ways. Take your next piece. And then you just tighten it all the way down. Just flush with the other. Then we do it again. And once again, tighten it all the way down to where it is flush with the other one. This one's having a little issue, so hang on. Sometimes you gotta pull them out a little bit just so that you have enough thread sticking out for it to slide into the next one, like so. Okay, so once you get these together, now you got the base and the stem. Now what we wanna do, we put the bigger of the two flowers, the ones that has the most petals, goes on the bottom. So now this goes into here. Then it threads into there like so. So that's like that. And then you take the next piece, put it on the top of that. Now what you can do, just so that these don't uh, get tangled around each other, you can kind of take this one and, and bend it up like a little ball so that it goes a little bit tighter. That way when you put it on here, it doesn't smash into the other one as much and now what you'll want to do is take that last piece that is got no threads on either side and it goes in here like this 
like so. That's why these are extra pieces. And then, of course, the top piece threads into the top. until it's in there. You can do now, just so that it looks more like the, more like the picture, you take these ones and just do a slight turn with them like this. Take all of them and just twist them just slightly to the right, like a quarter turn and they bend quite easily, but they are metal, so that, that they will hold up well. And if any of these are loose, you can just tighten them by hand, or if need be, get your screwdriver out one more time. But yeah, each one of these, you just go slightly one direction, and then you can pull them out a little bit so that it doesn't run into the other one. And since we did all of these this direction, we're going to take these ones and we're going to do a quarter turn the other direction. So this is the end result. You can see the tip of it there. Basically, the, you can see the two rows of spinners. One spins one direction, one spins the other. You can bend them so that they uh, look a little bit different if you like, however you like to have them, and that's the end result. So just one thing to remember is before you put these on and attach with this um, segment of the stem here, and then putting this other one on, make sure before you put it on here, make sure all of these nuts are tight. You can tighten them after they've been put on here, but it's a lot more difficult, and if you have it done ahead of time, it'll be a lot easier for you. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.